Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick four month pup date on Aura. Uh, she just had her four month birthday on the 12th and just a little bit, uh, just kind of updates. I think one of the biggest thing we're seeing now is that Aura is changing from her puppy mentality to her dog mentality. Uh, that's kind of a interesting thing to describe because it's more of just the, her headspace is changing. She's listening a lot more. She's She's more attentive. She's making better eye contact. To me, this is a lot more fun. <laughs> than some of the younger puppy things where it's just all instinctual based. We are still in the middle of teething. We have had a lot of, um, you know, one thing to notice, especially when you're going through teasing, teething is not to get too worried about blood, either on your beds or on your bed, on bones, that sort of thing. You know, it's fairly normal as they're dropping out. I am shocked how quickly these teeth come in, you know, they start to take the teeth start to wiggle and then pfft, they squirt out. It's, it's pretty cool. I've saved a couple. Uh, Christina thinks I'm crazy, but I have a couple of her baby teeth. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe I'll make a necklace. I don't know. So, um, she's also getting her adult fur in. It's really kind of fun to watch it, you know, come down. It is your fur is getting so long. She's getting really cute. Another thing I'd like to talk about, just kind of as I'm noticing, her temperament is changing kind of more into the adult Borzoi temperament, which is essentially the sleepy, more uh, relaxed dog. There's a lot less anxiety. The teething, the teething ramped it up a little bit, but you're noticing now that she's, uh, she's taking time for herself. She's becoming the full Borzoi, the kind of aloof a dog, and I know I had some recent questions about differences in temper temperaments between, let's say, Whippets and Borzois. I think you'll notice that they're a little bit more chill in general and <laughs> require a lot less exercise. Another thing we're noticing now is Aura has really expanded her socialization. She's now learning how to, or where she lays in the hierarchy of dogs. It's definitely that pack mentality. You can see that she's She's finding out who's a good playmate, who is not, who plays like her, who is above her, who is below her. And uh, I, it's really kind of interesting to see. So it's like the second phase of socialization. And I imagine it's more kind of like high school if you were to, to make a, a correlation to how uh, we act in school. So early on, it's just a matter of not being afraid, going out and saying hi to people, meeting people. And then now it's, you know, are we gonna form a relationship? Are we gonna play together? And this is another thing I'd like to bring up because being in LA, there's a lot of dog parks. However, some of them have, or are patroned by dogs that play in a more aggressive manner or a manner that doesn't necessarily play with the with our Borzois well. And you just kind of avoid them certain times a day. I'll even go so far if I see somebody who has a dog that our two dogs play really well together, get their phone number. Say, hey, you know, next time you're at the park, give me a quick text, I'll come over and our dogs play really well together. It's really important, especially the early experiences to have good experiences of dog parks playing with um, dogs that get along. And you don't want, especially with Borzois, they do not like to play rough necessarily. They like to kind of jump around and dance around and chase. They're much more of the chasers. To that effect, Aura has really started to take uh, a liking to fetch. And she's finally started to use the balls, which is great because it makes it a lot easier than throwing her toys. So, you know, I've, I've found a few dogs, especially this gigantic golden doodle at one of the parks she just loves to play with. So that's been an experience for me that it's like being a parent. You don't want to, you don't want to set your dog up to, for failure by pairing them with the wrong friends or pairing them with someone too aggressive too early. So if you're taking your dog to dog parks, be ready to just leave sometimes if you have to, if there's this dogs there that just don't play well or step in, which is, can be tough, it can be tricky. And there's a lot of, you know, people have their egos about their pets. So just make sure you're, you're navigating that well. I'm gonna be starting to doing another History of Doggos video. I'm, I'm filming it right now. Uh, we're gonna do that this week and I'll keep up with the pup dates, but please wish Esper a happy four month birthday or Aura a four month birthday. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to turn this off.